I'm here in Pittsfield, Massachusetts at the beautiful Colonial Theatre to get a look at Berkshire Theatre Group's upcoming performance of White Christmas. <laughs> The Berkshire Theatre Group is uh, a parent organization of two storied uh, theatre companies in, actually, in America. The Berkshire Theatre Festival, which was founded in 1928 down in Stockbridge, and the Colonial Theatre, which dates back to 1903 here in Pittsfield. About a decade or so ago, both organizations merged, and we are now the Berkshire Theatre Group. This theater has a, has a marvelous uh, history that tells the story of the American theater pretty much in the 20th century. It was uh, designed by uh, a guy named McAlphatrek, who was one of the preeminent theater designers of his age, designed hundreds of theaters in North and South America, Canada, and of all of his theaters, there's only a handful left, less than five, and this is one. Well, the theater is a gorgeous, gorgeous space to perform in, acoustically magnificent. Um, it's reminiscent of a lot of the theaters that you see in London's West End. Uh, sometimes when you come into theaters, they're sprawling and there's a long distance between the stage and the back of the orchestra, the mezzanine. Uh, the Colonial is more of a vertical theater, and so it has a, it has a sense of intimacy um, that's pretty unusual for a theater. Uh, when you get 700 people in there, you still feel like you're right on top of the, of the play. We do opera uh, in there, we do uh, local bands, uh, we do theater during the Berkshire Theater Festival season. Uh, we have a very, very robust uh, community education program, so we've got hundreds of kids involved in productions every summer. It started off just one, now we do one in the spring, we do one in the summer, we do one in the fall, and of course we have a, we have a Christmas uh, or holiday production uh, every year, which involves so many people in the community and it's so gratifying uh, to see the connection between the families in and around Pittsfield and this theater. Happy holidays, happy holidays to you. Today, uh, we're in rehearsal for White Christmas, Irving Berlin's White Christmas. Um, this is a bit of a, a milestone for us uh, because for the last 15 years, the Berkshire Theater Group has been presenting uh, a Christmas carol and it has uh, become kind of a holiday tradition. And we didn't do it last year for obvious reasons. And I think the pause caused our artistic director, Kate McGuire, to start thinking about the future. And uh, we love A Christmas Carol, and we love the message of A Christmas Carol, but it's a pretty dark story. And I think Kate was looking to come out of COVID with something a little lighter, a little more celebratory, uh, a way of wel welcoming the community back indoors um, so that they could experience and share some sense of pre-COVID normalcy. And then she's gonna go and do that. But, yeah. I, want you to I uh, started out as an actor. I've done Broadway and TV and film. About 10 years ago, I turned to directing, and um, I've always wanted to, and uh, uh, Kate McGuire here at the Berkshire Theatre Group gave me an opportunity to direct a play, uh, and uh, that sort of started me on this whole new chapter of my career. This show is a, just a joyous celebration of, of course, the holiday, but it's got great tap dancing in it. It's really wonderful. The piece itself, White Christmas, is sort of part of, you know, Americana and celebration of Christmas, like along with like It's a Wonderful Life. This is one of those movies that everyone watches, um, and so it's just such a great celebration of the musical. It has a great spirit, and coming out of our entire sort of COVID period, it's just great to be in the theater and to see a show with great joy, love, music, 
and a lot of comedy too. It's one of those shows that you don't remember being so funny. It's a very funny show. We preview December 2nd and uh, we open December 4th and we run until December 23rd, right before the Christmas time. And we hope that everyone comes sees us because I think it's a great way to celebrate the holiday and it'll just be great to be all in the theater again. The Colonial Theater, and Pittsfield in general, I have to say, uh, uh, is on a bit of a roll for the Berkshire Theater Festival. It's always been Stockbridge Central, and beginning in 2019, before COVID, I think lots of folks who were used to going to the uh, main stage in Stockbridge and to our Unicorn Theater in Stockbridge were introduced, or in some cases reintroduced, but mostly introduced to the glorious environs of this beautiful theater. And so now the prospect of driving up the road for 10 or 15 minutes to come here to see a play in the summer is something that people are, are doing eagerly. I mean, I was a commercial producer before this, so I produced on Broadway, I produced at the Palladium in London, and I will tell you, you know, there isn't a prettier, nicer theatrical experience that you're gonna have in London or on Broadway or anywhere else in America than right here at the Colonial Theater.